of the most dangerous things is to give a microphone to a politician that really doesn't have any prepared uh, comments. Uh, and that's me today. Me too. Because, candidly, I, I find it interesting that I have to read in the newspaper that Governor Kasich met with, talked to Larry Davis, a good friend of ours, mm -hmm. trucking association, has met with contractors, has met with a select group of our colleagues across the aisle, and I had to read on my iPhone coming across what he was saying uh, on, a, on a website that's put out by ODOT. You know, Bobby Hagan and I both sat on the Turnpike Commission. So did I. Didn't know the truth. Yes, we were all ex officio members. There is no finer operated highway in the country. Why, number one, are we trying to fix something that works? I guess the answer is because there's a pot of gold. But in one hand, we're going to be fiscally responsible. We're going to be fiscally responsible. We're going to cut $1.8 billion from, from higher ed or from primary and secondary. We're going to cut almost a billion dollars from local governments. And then run around the state and say, when I became governor, there was 89 cents in the, uh, in the rainy day fund. And now today, there's almost a half a billion dollars. Now that's the fiscal governor. Now the fiscally irresponsible is to now want to go out and spend $1.5 billion. Now let me tell you something. We have drastically improved the 241 miles of that highway. <clears throat> drastically. In the last 18, about 18 years. You go on the service classes, they're building a new one right now on Eastgate. It's almost ready for Topin. We built them across the highway. We built the expansion over the Allegheny, uh, or the uh, Cuyahoga River Valley. Huge, monstrous amount of money that we spent. We're $566 million in debt right now. But the, yeah, but the commission has been responsible. Responsible with that indebtedness. Now, we're going to come in, and we're going to indebt $1 billion initially, early next year, with an additional, additional $500 million. So that's my early read of this, because I haven't, wasn't privy to anything I'm reading on newspapers that you guys wrote. But, is it responsible with the revenue stream that we have to borrow that kind of money? Do we know if that's responsible? Now, it may be politically expedient to hand out checks, it may be good during campaign time, but is the revenue stream high enough to pay those bonds? Do we know that? And you know the answer as well as I do. I, I have no idea if that's responsible fiscal management. But I'll tell you one thing. I find it very interesting that we are going to indebt this state 1.5 billion dollars on the backs of Ohio, Northern Ohio, to use the turnpike, yes. and then say, well, we're going to spend 90% of the money we generate north of 30. Well, you know what? What about my piece of the action for all my gas tax that I send in now that I should be getting already before you already are rating the turnpike. Come on, it's a shell game. It's a shell game. If anybody wants to believe that Northern Ohio is going to benefit any better from this than anyone else, heck no. They're going to go and they're going to loosen up money that would have gone to Northern Ohio and they're going to spend it in other parts of the state so they can hand out the checks that John was talking about. And uh, you can tell that I'm a real big supporter of this. <laughs> um, I really, really am very, I mean, Matt Lundy and I um, have really, really followed this closely. I'm offended by it. When I lay my head down at night, 
I'm about a half mile away from mile post 222. My house is right by the turnpike. I grew up with the turnpike. And I think it was Representative Gardner who made a comment in the dispatches today about a lot of northern Ohioans are endeared to the turnpike. And Randy's absolutely right, we are. But leave it alone. ODOT has been trying to get their hands on the Ohio Turnpike for decades. For decades. Leave it alone. Alan Johnson, George Distel, um, Gary, Gary, and Gary Soldoni made some great comments. I hope you write them again. That going off, that one mile off the turnpike, he's against it. And you know what? I don't think you're going to find a whole heck of a lot of support from us for it either. So thank you very much. I'm sorry to go on, but I'm very emotional about the It's hard to be, it's, it's funny to be emotional about a road, but I am. I'm, I'm passionate about it. And I feel strongly about it, and I know that Matt, Matt Lundy does as well.